So for today's video, I'll let you guys decide what I was going to do. I put out a community poll the other day, landscape or wildlife. You guys chose wildlife. So today I'm here at Hardwick Park for a spot of wildlife photography. We've got the Z62 and the 150 to 600. Let's see what we can get. absolutely teeming with wildlife mostly birds uh, but I've already shot some squirrels and uh, yeah I couldn't think of a better place when I left the house this morning it was peeing down it was foggy and I figured the park would be pretty much empty it's starting to get a bit nicer now you see some beautiful soft light behind me as the sun's coming up yeah let's go and see what we can find that is some Blue Planet class footage right there. And the good thing about Hardwick as well is there's a uh, potential to do some landscape photography here too. Uh, what's going on with that angle? There we go. So the building I've just shown you there is Minerva's Temple. Um, don't know any history of it. it makes a nice subject especially if you're doing some kind of astro um, there's a nice big lake with the hotel Harvick hotel which I've shot weddings at and look at these absolutely stunning trees all around um, so yeah I'm gonna have a, a good day of photography for the wildlife I've got the 150 to 600 Tamron G2 and for landscapes I've got the 24 to 70 F4 trying to keep the bag as light as possible today because I've got well I've got as long as my batteries last and I've got five batteries the battery in the GoPro is running a bit low already so I've basically just set up a load of bird seed and uh, mealworm along the walkway just to get them down trust me a bit blue tits, sparrows, robins a lot, oh, look at all them, look at all them them all. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can get one eating out of my hand. Maybe later. The thing is. I was never really that bothered about wildlife photography um, specifically birds my go-to comment on bird photography was always oh bird uh, then I turned 39 and something just clicked for want of a better word and like I say I just got the big lens I'm out, I've got bird seed in my bag, I've got mealworm in my bag, I've got suet pellets and balls all over the office at the minute. I even considered buying a giggy suit and a, and a collapsible hide, but I don't think I'm quite there yet. Yet. Right, so at the minute I'm having no look with the elusive water rail. Um, couple of blackbirds, male and female, pigeon, wow. Um, cool tits, blue tits. And the robin isn't the robins aren't playing nice either. Um, not spending very long on the, the boardwalk, just getting the seed, getting the, the meal worm and straight off. <clears throat> Having a few issues depth of field wise because I'm so close and 600 mil even at 6.3 it is very very <coughs> excuse me it's very 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 minimal depth of field also it may not come across on the GoPro but the uh, ambient light is really quite low it's still quite cloudy it's starting to rain a touch too um, so the ISO is really pushing upwards of I think I've got a limit set to 6400 but it is pushing all the way up there shooting all, most of the shots at about one, one, two fiftieth and not in flight but they are fast moving little birds so I'm trying to keep as much motion out of those images as I can. 
I do like a bit when you, you can see the wings and they're maybe having a, a set to um, over food or position on a branch. Do like a little bit of motion in the wings, but not a great deal. Um, trying to keep the eye in focus. As well with the Z62, is it? It is struggling to keep focus on the on the birds, especially in a continuous group mode. Um, I don't know if that's the camera or the lens. To be honest, um, as I said, it is quite dark on the boardwalk. Yeah, really struggling at times to get focus. I'm going to blame the lens. 6.3, it's not a, not a professional lens by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah, it is kind of struggling. Little robin up above me. Little black bird, a bit blue tip, little cold tip. Ah, birds everywhere. Great man, great. I almost had the, the cold to eat it out of my hand. It came down, you could feel the air as it was flapping. I think wings were beating. Oh, that was awesome. He came so close to taking the mealworm off me, but he just, uh, just a bit too shy, a bit too scared. I've got this little perch set up. <clears throat> I photographed the, I think it was a blue tit on there, and just a second ago, a chaffinch. Absolutely stunning chaffinch. And just as I was shooting that bloody water rail ramp up, um, it's so much fun, but it's so frustrating. Oh God, what's going on there? Right, I think I'm done with the hedge birds for a bit. I'm gonna have a walk around the park, photograph some water birds, and then see if I can find some nice old twisty trees to photograph. Let's go. I can hear someone shouting across the pond. They're, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping the dog has gone in after a goose. <laughs> you just hear him shouting, Odie, no! <laughs> oh, dogs, absolutely love them. Not half on the geese. Oh, how good does this look? I know for a fact I can't get in here. But look. Look, oh, photogasmic. Okay, and now I need to go and play in the woods. Right, so I finally managed to get the water in. It was just down here under the boardwalk. Um, don't know if I'm going to be able to include the photos because I don't know if his eye, if the eye is in focus. I know it was quite a shallow depth of field at 6.3. I keep saying that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I got the eye pin sharp, maybe in one or two of them, um, so I'll throw them up now. So I am losing the light, um, it's flat, overcast, horrible, I think it's going to pee down, so I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit some photos have a cup of coffee and get this video up thank you so much for watching please like and comment on the video let me know what you think subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see ya or rather you'll see me in the next video bye for now <laughs>